こんにちは。ジャパニーザーモのミサです。Hey guys! 今日は日本語で買い物について話しましょう。Today we're going to practice talking about shopping in Japanese. 買い物好きですか ?Do you like shopping?So, 買う is to buy. So you can say something を買う。So, ピカチュウを買う。ピカチュウを買います。formally and in the past tense, informally you say 買った and formally 買いました。So, ピカチュウを買った。ピカチュウを買いました。and 買い物 is how we say shopping. And if you want to say shopaholic, we say 買い物依存症依存症 means dependence or addiction. So, yeah, 買い物依存症です But that has a negative connotation, right? People do use the word, but yeah. If you want to say that you love shopping, you can just say 買い物大好き人間<laughs> 買い物大好き人間 which actually sounds kind of cute and funny and doesn't sound as serious as 買い物依存症 actually 買い物依存症 is a real thing so it is serious、um, yeah people need therapy for it but anyway if you love shopping you can call yourself 買い物大好き人間、uh, so 大好き is love, right? So you can just say 買い物大好き it means I love shopping, but 買い物大好き人間人間 means human. So a human who loves shopping. <laughs> so you could say 買い物大好き人間だからまた新しい靴買っちゃった Oops, sorry, Pikachu. So また again, 新しい靴 new shoes. 買っちゃった。そう、ちゃうちゃった。Oops, I did something. So, it's like, oops, I bought new shoes again because I love shopping.、Uh, <laughs> I made this example sentence because I just saw a tweet like that. <laughs> okay, uh, 次。Uh, the word that you might want to know is 衝動買い。衝動買い。It means an impulse buy, and Japanese people definitely use this word a lot.、Um, so, maybe more common than the word impulse buy in English. When you want to say, I bought it on impulse, you can say something o shoudou gai shichatta. Shoudou gai shichatta. So, shoudou gai shita is Like the normal past tense, right? Informally. And, shoudo gai shimashita, formally.、Uh, but by adding this chatta instead of shita, we say shichatta. And again, it's like, I didn't mean to do it, but I did it on impulse. So, you couldn't help it. You couldn't control yourself, and then you just bought it.、Uh, shoudo gai shichatta. Uh, formally, you can say, 衝動買いしてしまいました。次、do you know how to say, I want something? You say, something が欲しい。And 欲しい is an e adjective, so to make it formal, you don't add ます but です。So, 欲しいです。So, how do you say, I want an iPhone 14? I don't even know what the latest iPhone is, but yeah. So, guess how we say iPhone 14? We say iPhone 14. <laughs> we don't say iPhone 14 because it doesn't sound cool in Japanese if you speak Japanese. <laughs> Kakoare.、Um, well, that's what people think. Like, especially like tech stuff has to be、uh, English. Like, yeah. <laughs> It's really weird, right? Like, Whenever I meet somebody outside of Japan, they say, Oh, Japan is so high tech. And then Japan loves using non Japanese words when talking about technology. 
<laughs> anyway, iPhone 14が欲しい is how you say, I want an iPhone 14. What do you guys want right now? 今何が欲しいですか Or I can ask more like, 今欲しいものはありますか今 now, 欲しいもの things you want. Again, 欲しい is an, 欲しいものはありますか Is there, do you have? So, is there anything you want right now? コメント欄で教えてください。Remember to use the ga particle when talking about something you want, right? So, iPhone 14, ga ho shi. And when you want to say, I need something, we also use the ga particle.、Uh, to be necessary, we say something ga iru or something ga irimas formally. So, this iru Is a different iru from to exist. So, you can say, like, where are you, Mr. Sensei? You can say, to be needed, iru conjugates differently from the verb to exist, iru. And iru, to be needed, is also written in kanji, whilst iru, to exist, is, you,、uh, is written in hiragana. So, iru, as to exist, turns into imas. Right? Was iru as to be needed conjugates like irimas. So, ru becomes ri. Irimas. And if you use Rosetta Stone, then you can go on Unit 4, Lesson 1, Grammar, and practice this grammar point. But, at the end, Kanojo wa okane ga irimas. Kanojo means Girlfriend, usually, right? They counsel me she. And I talked about this in another video,、uh, but usually, kanojo means she. So, say, kono hito wa, or onna no hito wa, or the name of the person. So, if her name is Jessica, then Jessica wa okane ga irimas. But yeah, on apps, I understand that it's. Hard to always write names, so it's whatever. Okay, so. Kanojo wa okane ga irimas. So I would translate like, my girlfriend needs money.、Um, yeah, so. She needs money, because she's looking like a, at, at, at her wallet. Saifu o mite mas ne. Tsugi. Kanojo wa sekken ga irimas. Sekken, soap. So, yeah. Te ga kitanai kara. Sekken ga irimas. Remember to use the ga particle, that's why it's in red. Tashi wa sangurasu ga irimas. Hai. Watashi wa hashigo. No, watashi kare wa hashigo ga irimas. Hashigo means ladder. So, todokanai kara. Hashigo ga irimas. 次 I get this question a lot. I guess I should take it as a compliment, but people often ask, それどこで買ったのそれどこで買ったの Where did you buy that? Where did you get that? So maybe they talk about my Pikachu or <laughs> my clothes, but yeah. So、uh, that is that. Thing you have, right? Doko de katta no. So this is informal. Formally, you can say, sore wa or sono specific thing. So, sono kutsu wa doko de kaimashita ka. So, sore wa doko de kaimashita ka. So we start it as a topic, like as for that. Let's talk about them. Uh, where did you get them? You might also be thinking, can we just say,、uh, Doko de sore o kaimashita ka? Or Doko de sore o katta no? And they are fine too. But personally,、uh, 
uh, I think it sounds more natural if you start with sore or what you want to talk about and then ask. So, その T シャツどこで買ったの And the no is like showing curiosity, right? When you want somebody to explain, we put this no at the end of the sentence. And again, uh, unit four, lesson one, grammar. Uh, this is the sixth point. And you can practice which particle to use. So with doko, you want to use de. So doko de keiki o kaimasu ka? Where do you buy cakes? Where do you buy cakes? <laughs> um, and then here, keiki ya de keiki kaimasu. So keiki ya, it's like a pastry shop, right? Like a cake shop. Um, and then there we use the to indicate the location and then keiki is the object so we want to choose o. Keiki ya de keiki o kaimasu. By the way, you can also choose to show romaji like this if hiragana is too much. But I always recommend kanji with furigana. So you can practice more Japanese on Rosetta Stone as I showed you and they offer different subscription models 3 months, 3 months, 6 months, 6 months or 1 month and lifetime and the lifetime subscription costs you usually $299 but with my discount code you can get it for $179 so it's like eight dollars for 24 months um so it's kind of like netflix subscription and they also offer the 30-day refund so if you don't like it you can get refund uh, i just want to show you this example um so you gotta choose what to put right so watashi wa so I prefer Hoga ski. I prefer um, blue shoes, aoi, and midori no green, right? So aoi is an e adjective, so you say aoi kutsu, but midori green is a noun so you have to add extra no midori no to say green something midori no kutsu <laughs> so midori no kutsu yori so rather than so i prefer blue shoes to green shoes and she probably is asking which one is better All right which shoes dochira no kutsu ga suki desu ka so, dochi is how you say informally. Dochi no kutsu ga suki desu ka? You can say that if you're speaking semi formally. So, I'd say you can do that with a shop employee. But yeah, dochi ra no is more formal. Which shoes do you prefer? Um, you can ask those questions when shopping in Japan. Or well, not just Japan, to be honest. You can ask that anywhere, to be honest. But don't be afraid. Talk to the people. <laughs> and to money, okane. So n. So we don't say yen. We say n, right? N. So like ichi yen, but we will get to that. So first, m, yen. Go uh, doru. So dollar. So dollar. We say doru. Uh, this one, kore. Jugo pondo, pounds. We say pondo, right? Euro, euro. Ju euro. So, n, pondo, doro, euro. And now, important stuff, because we love cash. <laughs> Goen, five yen. So, you also should really remember the shape of this. Uh, because you'll be using cash and then you'll be using coins, like physical coins, and you have to really remember which coin 
is worth what uh, when looking for it from the wallet. Uh, so the the five yen has a hole like this. Okay, so it's easy to remember. And also, this is what we throw um, uh, uh, when uh, praying at the shrine or temple. So, en or goen, more politely, because of the go prefix is, yeah. Uh, goen in another kanji means fate or good luck. So, goen ga. Like we can, for example, say "goen ga arimasu yo ni" to mean "I uh, hope we have good luck," and we also say "goen da ne" to mean "it must have been fate," like something happens, and then you want to say, "Yeah, it's the fate." You say "goen da ne" because we love word play. Uh, we throw luck, um, and then. It doesn't mean throwing away luck, but you're contributing <laughs> the money <laughs> over the temple shrine. So you will get luck if you put in Gwen, 5 yen. And 5 yen is like 5 cents, so very cheap. And now because yen is weak, it might even be like 3 cents. So don't cheap out. <laughs> so Gwen, Gwen. So the intonation is different. Juen, this is brown one, uh, bronze one. Ichien, silver looking one. And then we can practice talking about price. So sunglasses wa nijū euro desu. Nijū euro, twenty euro. Uh, so like nisen en or more like maybe nisen uh, two thousand five hundred yen. Yeah, it's awful right in Japanese. It, it, the number is so big, like 2,000. 2,000. 20,000 is 2,000. Anyway, uh, when you want to say it costs, we use the, we, ju we can just say it's 20 euro. Uh, like sunglasses cost 20 euro. Uh, or you can say shimas or suru. Sunglasses wa 20 euro suru. So you can either say des or suru or des or shimas formally. And informally without des or suru. So this one. Hon wa 15 dollar desu. Again, you can say hon wa 15 dollar shimasu. Shatsu wa 12 pondo desu. 20, sorry, 12 pounds. And then when you want to say how much, you say ikura. So ninjin wa ikura desu ka? Three dollars. San doru desu. Ocha wa ikura desu ka? How much is the tea? Uh, ni euro desu. So the ni hyaku yen. O san ni hyaku goju yen. And lastly, let's learn how to say cheap and expensive. So cheap, we say yasui, yasui. So I made a video about this kanji. So if you look at this kanji, cheap, it has the kanji for woman, right? So it's like, why? Yeah, watch it. Watch the video, please. <laughs> um, Anyway, yasui, cheap, and expensive, we say takai, takai, can also mean tall. And when we react to something, we often drop the last e of the e adjectives when we're especially surprised. So when you want to say, whoa, cheap, so cheap, you can say yasu instead of yasui. That will make you sound super native like, so try it. Yasu! Even like yasu without the e at the end, or you can add small tsu between ya and su and say yasu! So like yasu, there is a pause. You can also write like that. Yasu! When something is expensive, like so expensive, oh my gosh, so expensive. You can say taka! So taka! 
without the e at the end or ta ka. So again with small tsu, ta ka. <laughs> this sounds super natural, so I want you to try it, okay, next time. But it's so easy. Yes and ta ka. I think your friends would laugh because it use you'd sound super you sound you'd really sound like a Japanese person. Or maybe try adding sugiru too much. So yasu sugiru too cheap. So if something is too cheap, it's suspicious, right? <laughs> um, yeah. Or it's too expensive. Takasugiru. So again, get rid of the last e and put sugiru. Again, you can also get rid of the last ru as well and say takasugi, and that also sounds mega natural. Like omite makes you sound natural in Japanese in general. Like omitting particles, omitting pronouns, omitting everything. In the end, you will just be silent, and that's how Japanese people are. Very quiet people. <laughs> I'm kidding. But yeah. Um Takasugi or yasusugi, too cheap, too expensive. Uh, trust me, you will really sound natural using these words or phrases. So good luck. Gambatena. Alright, that's it for today. Uh, I would like you to tell me what you bought recently or what you would like to buy soon or someday <laughs> in the comments in Japanese, preferably. Um, so you can say something ga hoshi or something ga kaitai I want to buy. Or you can say something katta. You can even add the yo particle at the end. Katta yo to let me know. Again, the yo ending particle is used to let somebody know something new. So you're telling me what you bought, which I don't know. Um, so yeah, you can say, Watashi mo Pikachu katta yo. I also bought Pikachu and then we can high five. <laughs> and also check out Rosetta Stone. The link is in the description box and in the comments. So yeah. All right. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Ja, mantane. Bye bye.